Hello, welcome back to another pen talk. This one's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be discussing the seven inks, which I recently got uh, from Amazon. I think they're an excellent buy. Those that watch the uh, Caveco Sport Cognac one saw the one on the far right. So let's take a look at these and we'll do a little bit of a review and a look at the chromatography. So this is Arctic Blue. We look at the chromatography, we can see it's a little bit of a turquoise, a little green in there. So we'll go on to the next one, which is Pacific Blue, like the ocean. And as you can see, this is a little bit more saturated blue, a little bit more of a pure blue. Go on to the next one, which is a dark orchid. And I don't know, I see more pink there than I do anything else. Uh, I guess a little bit on the purple side, but it's more of a pink, at least from that chromatography strip. Palm green was the first one I got. And because of that, I went and bought the other six bottles in this Color of Nature series. And as you can see, it's a pretty interesting green with uh, some uh, blue in there, darker shades. So that excited me and wanted me to try the rest of them, especially for this price. And you get a huge bottle, which are going to last a long time. Tomato red is also a very interesting color. And that's a red. There's a little bit of pink in there, but uh, certainly more red than anything else. But we're going over here to cinnamon brown, which um, I think is going to be a nice everyday color for me. It is kind of on the dark side of, of the brown, and it, again, it's a pure color. And I think a lot of these, you'll notice that the chromatography shows them to be uh, a pretty consistent color. You don't get a lot of uh, separations of different colors that have been mixed together to make the final version. And last but not least is cognac, which is what I put in my Caveco Sport. And that kind of looks a little bit darker here than what I thought it would. Um, and also, it's a, it's a more of a pure brown, so let's take a look at a writing sample. I did something a little bit different here. I used this glass pen. I picked up three of them for a couple bucks shipped from China. It took a couple weeks to get here, but they're a great pen to just uh, dip into some new ink and take a look at how it writes. So I put together one page with all the inks on it, starting with uh, Tomato Red. I'm not going to try to pronounce the German versions. The Cognac. I did a smear there, which kind of also kind of brings out some of the densities of the inks and also some of the color comes out a little bit clearer in this smear. As you can see, Arctic Blue comes out a little bit lighter than uh, what I had expected and thought about. Pacific Blue is a little denser. Uh, the orchid, uh, dark orchid, uh, is not something I would call a dark orchid. And then you have your palm green. So the inks are pretty wet. And this is uh, Fabriano Italian paper, the 85 grams per meter. It has a nice texture to it. And I've been using it a lot now in, in my writing. I like it. Kind of like I like the uh, 1951 uh, Claire Fontaines because they're not quite, uh, the surface is not quite as smooth as you would find on the, the general 90 gram uh, Claire Fontaine or the 80 gram uh, Rhodia. So we're going to do a little bit of look about how color, uh, sorry, water resistant these inks are. And I think you can tell from the chromatography that uh, we're not going to find a lot of water resistance. So I haven't really done a water test uh, per se, so bear with me. This is my first time, so we're going to put some drops of water on here. And we'll go over here. We got some dots, and we'll hit this spot where we put a lot of ink, and we'll let it sit there for a while. Looks like uh, the uh, water is starting to pull off some of the ink, which is what we would expect from the chromatography. So we took a little break for a minute just to let the water set in on there. Um, it's, uh, I'd say it's eh, about as water resistant as I expected. So let's dab some of this water off. And amazingly, uh, it's what I kind of thought. More of the ink remained than what I expected. So I guess it has more water resistance worth this test. Uh, 
because I have a number of inks that uh, I wrote on my book with and when you put a little water on them they just disappear. I also brought out my Parker 45 with the left oblique nib and I wrote with that. It's a little bit of shading but much to my amazement there must have been some other ink left in the converter. It's uh, an aromatic converter and it turned a different color on me so I'm now cleaning that out much more thoroughly than I did before. But that's the danger of picking up something like that and filling it with ink when it wasn't properly clean. So that's it for the water resistance and that's it for the inks. Just so you can take a look at this is the um, order sheet that I got from, uh, from Amazon. And there were six of these in this selection. And $13.99. Oh, I said $12.99. It was actually $13.99. But that's still an excellent price. And for a great ink and a nice big bottle of ink. So, hope you enjoyed that little view of some German inks that you might be interested in using.